Hello coolers and welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with Wolverhampton Wanderers winger Adama Traore, of course, who have been linked with Barca quite strongly these past few weeks. Of course, Barca have been eyeing him as a replacement for Usman Dembele. However, as per recent reports, Barcelona may be set to receive a big blow when it comes to pursuing Traore because reports are claiming that Traore is closing in on a £20 million switch to Tottenham Hotspur. We are going to be discussing much on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, we are going to be talking about midfielder Frankie de Jong as reports are claiming that Serie A giants Juventus are interested in loaning the midfielder for 18 months. We are going to be discussing much on that as we move ahead. So guys, as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Usman Dembele has not been a popular figure at Barcelona ever since his transfer four and a half years ago. Following several controversies surrounding discipline, racism, injuries and contract renewal, it seems the two parties are ready to part ways. Barca's director of football, Matteo Alemani, talked about the contract situation with Dembele yesterday, saying that the club will be looking to offload the winger in January. It is bound to create a problematic void for Xavi, though, who was looking to build the attack around wide players. In the past weeks, Wolves winger Adama Traore was linked as a replacement for Dembele, with the surgeon offering the player to Barcelona. However, the Athletic have now provided an, an update on Traore's situation, saying that Tottenham Hotspur are closing in on his signing. The report states that Wolves demanded £20 million for the former Barcelona attacker after a £15 million bid was rejected earlier this week. The two clubs as it stands are not far apart from reaching an agreement. Antonio Conte is said to be a huge admirer of Traore and with some changes to his game will deploy him on the right wing back spot you know, that has become synonymous with Spurs' coach. The 25-year-old is not having the best of seasons with Wolves with just the one goal contribution in 19 appearances in the league. That singular goal too came against Southampton last week, 26 appearances after his last one versus Brighton in May back in 2021. Despite his poor form in front of goal, Traore had been in talks of a contract renewal with Wolves. His demand to become the best player at the club though served as a roadblock. It seems impossible that Barcelona will be able to hijack this deal with several financial complications. Finding a way out for Dembele in the winter remains priority numero, um, numero uno. This could turn out to be the big breakthrough ace update of Ferran Jutla we're looking for. Then on to the next story of discussion. The return of Pedri has become a, a massive relief for Xavi, but the news is not too sweet to the ears of Frankie de Jong. The rise of Gavi and Nico, coupled with the return of the Copa Trophy winner, now see the Dutchman reduced to a rotation role. The young has struggled to flourish under the new manager and has rightfully fallen to the fit preference spot in midfield. Given his reduced involvement, um, speculation regarding his future have begun to circulate. Moreover, he now has no defined position in this team. According to reports from Casio Mercato, Juventus are interested in loaning the player for a period of 18 months. The deal would involve a purchase option of you know, in between 40 to 50 million euros. The Bianconeri have struggled with their midfield this season, with none of their central midfielders in Alto Melo, Manuel Locatelli, Adrian Rabio, Aaron Ramsey, Adrian Bendankar, or Weston McKinney coming through consistently. A year ago, it would be impossible to fathom an exit for Frankie Leo. The former Ajax star was brought to be the future of Barcelona's midfield, but his decline over the past few months is so evident. Since Xavi's appointment, the Dutchman has participated in 12 games. Apart from the lone goal, he has, got, he has not managed to contribute. Moreover, he has appeared sloppy on the field, often meekly losing possession. The Dutchman is now considered a sellable asset by many figures in the club's administration, with news about his exit making the rounds today. 
the removal of his wages from the roster, in addition to the fee involved in the deal, could help Barcelona's financial situation to recover. In addition, it would be an ideal way to secure some money in the bank to sign Erling Haaland. Yet, the manager's faith in the youngster is reportedly still strong. The final decision lies at the hand of Xavi himself. However, the young is now closer to leaving Barca than he has ever been before. So colors, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so, so you always stay in touch with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.